I was finally able to dedicate some time to clean out my closet and reorganize everything, including my walk-in closet, my shelves, my drawers, everything that stores my clothes. The decluttering session, oh my gosh, it took me an entire day to finish and I'm finally at a place where I feel really good about the reorganization. So I am super excited to share all of my progress with you, even though I do have additional plans to update a couple of things that I'll mention throughout the video. Although I have a couple of additional changes that I'd like to make to my closet, I feel like we're at a good place. Before we jump into the closet clean, now, I want to thank Atelier Zaguste for sponsoring this portion of today's video. If you're into handbags that are affordable but still high quality and embody the true essence of quiet luxury, definitely go ahead and check them out because they have so many different styles that are perfect for the capsule wardrobe and they actually gifted me a bag to show you guys today. Right here, I have the mini Marley handbag in this beautiful black box leather. It has a top handle, a removable and adjustable crossbody strap as well. And I love the gold hardware on this. It just looks so stunning. When I first received this and laid my eyes on it, I was immediately drawn to the minimal design. This is handmade in Italy with premium Italian calf leather. It strikes such a beautiful balance between contemporary and classic, so it goes with so many different outfits. I feel this type of bag is so versatile. I'm so grateful and ecstatic that the brand gifted me this because it fits right into my closet. It's such a beautiful piece to add to my capsule wardrobe and I cannot wait to style this in so many different ways. The quality at first impressions seems fantastic and I cannot get enough of it. Just to give you guys a mini tour, I wanna to show you guys how to open and close this bag and what the inside looks like. So the clasp right here is this beautiful gold bar and you just have to pull it down and then it'll unlatch itself. I will say it did take me a little bit to get used to that motion and this type of clasp, but I feel like once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy. And this is what the inside of the bag looks like. It also has a zipper so you can go ahead and secure your belongings inside without the fear of things falling out if it topples over. But inside there is a flap pocket on one side and then it is one wide main opening which I prefer. You guys know how much I hate dividers in bags like this. So I love the capacity. It fits my iPhone Pro Max 15 like without any issues. You guys saw how easy that went in. And there's so much space in here for all of my essentials and plus more. In the description, I'll go ahead and include the details and link to this bag. Definitely go ahead and check them out. They have so many different pieces and styles. You will definitely find something that you like. Thank you so much Atelier Zaguste for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right back into the closet tour. Before we dive into the details of how I organize my clothes, I want to give you a high level Level overview of what my bedroom looks like because I think getting the lay of the land is pretty important as well. As you can probably tell, I'm standing in one corner of my bedroom right now. Here we have my bed and to the left of my bed, I have my Ikea three level drawer system. In these drawers, basically, I store all of my activewear, loungewear, and pajamas. And I think two of the drawers here are Charlie's, which is my husband. He is a sweetheart and lets me get all the space that I need to store everything because obviously I have a lot more clothing than he does. So that's basically one part of my closet tour. And then the second part, is going to be my walk-in closet. Give you a sneak peek of what everything looks like. Oh my gosh, it makes me so happy when I see this because it did not look like this a day ago. <laughs> and I kind of wish that I filmed the process and everything, but that video would be literally five hours long because it took me the entire day to accomplish. But anyway, this is the progress that we're looking at right now. I have a pretty big walk-in closet, so I'm super lucky and blessed to have this much space for my clothes. But I share this with Charlie and Charlie only uses like, I wanna say a fifth of this closet, everything else is mine. That is kind of the high level overview of what this walk-in closet looks like. I have this really dinky mirror. <laughs> I do eventually wanna upgrade that and get a full size mirror that doesn't look as flimsy as that one. It's literally just leaning against the wall. It'll do for now. It helps me see my outfits when I put it on in here. And 
I also have a shelving system. I got this from Ikea as well. It's called the Billy Bookcase. I use it to store all of my knitwear. But anyway, okay, I know I'm getting into the details now, but I'm gonna go back and give you guys a little bit more of a deep dive into my drawers first, and then we can come back in here and I'll point out everything that's in here as well. Okay, let's go ahead and back up. As I mentioned this before, this is from Ikea as well. I feel like this has been in my life for about 10 years. I'm not even joking. I think I've had it since, oh my gosh, my early days in college. So <laughs> still using it to this day and have survived multiple moves, which is kind of impressive. Okay, so I'm gonna go through the first column first row and this has all of my pjs and it's not very neat or anything like that because this goes through a lot of rummaging i'm not super particular about this drawer because all of the clothing items are pretty loose and don't need to be neatly fold folded or anything since i just sleep in it it's not in any particular order or anything i just kind of shove it in here this is the most disorganized drawer i feel in my closet <laughs> all the other drawers and the way that i store things are way more organized organized and refined than this drawer here. First column, second row and third row, Charlie uses for his clothes. So I'm just gonna leave that alone. The second column here, I use all three of these. I have all of my loungewear that I don't wear to sleep. I literally wear these to lounge around the house if I'm not going out or anything. I work 100% remote for my full-time job. So this is really, really full. I have a lot of stuff in here because majority of the time I'll be in loungewear. I have some matching sets. I have one-offs, graphic tees here, just comfy clothes, you know? I do feel that I need to declutter this at some point because I haven't done that yet. I have a lot of duplicates of certain items like loose crop tops and matching sets. And I just want to go through each and every single one of them to refine this a little bit more. But for now, I don't want to tackle this monster of a drawer. Second row. This is, oh, it looks kind of crazy, I know. All of these, it's color coded, obviously. So in the back, I have whites, and in the front, I have blacks. I have a couple of colorful, unique items here, but basically, these are my active wear dresses, and these are all of my active wear tennis outfits. All of those items are stored in this drawer. Back here, I have a couple of shawls and cover-ups as well. Yeah, I need to go through this drawer because there is no person on earth who needs this many active wear pieces. And that's not even the end of it, folks. Look at my third row here. These are also all of my active wear, but obviously you can tell they are colorful pieces that are in matching sets. I have more tennis skirts and things like that. Leggings, shorts. <laughs> Yeah, but obviously if you guys are not new to my channel, you know that I do a lot of try on hauls for Lululemon, Alo Yoga and stuff like that. So I have collected a lot of active wear throughout the years and I need to purge the items that I'm not wearing as much anymore. That said, I am going to be doing that soon and posting all of my unused clothes on Poshmark. So if you guys are interested in shopping my closet, definitely go ahead and check out that link. I'll go ahead and put it in the description in, ca in case you guys are interested. All of these items are gently used and some have even tags on them. So I need to get on that. But yeah, that's everything in my drawers. So let's go ahead and get back into the walk-in closet. Let's pick up where we left off. Like I said, I want to upgrade that mirror to a legitimate mirror. And then I also want to repaint the walls in this closet because it just came like this when we bought the house. Look at all the little holes that they made and didn't paint over. So uh, there's a lot of work to be done in this walk-in closet, but with time, it'll come. On the ground against this wall, I do have this laundry bag. I believe I got it from H&M a long time ago, but it's super cute. It just says, uh, wash with care, laundry, delicate goods. And we put all of our dirty laundry in here. And I have a matching white one that we use to transport 
clean clothes from the laundry room all the way to our closet. I just have some PJs that I'm wearing on top of this ottoman that I got from, I believe, West Elm. It was on sale and I think I grabbed it maybe a few seasons ago, so I don't think it exists anymore because I found that West Elm only does sales on things that they're going to discontinue, but I'll go ahead and try to link something similar to it. Next to it, we have this bookshelf, like I said, the Billy bookshelf from Ikea. And I put all of my knitwear folded and stacked on top of each other here because with knitwear, you wanna be careful not to hang them, especially if they're heavy because they will stretch out and lose their shape. That's the reason why I like to store them this way. On the bottom here, it needs a little bit of work, but right now I have all of my crew neck sweatshirts, quarter zips, hoodies, and matching sets for sweatpants and stuff like that. This is my solution for those types of clothing for now, but eventually I want to be able to hang them, but we'll see because obviously I don't have any more hanging space. We used or I, <laughs> let's be real here, used all of the space that have hangers. Anyway, let's go to the back of this closet. So on the left side here, I have this simple drawer system from the container store. I actually don't like this as much anymore because one of the plastic pieces already broke and I think I bought it only last year. And I think it's because I put too much stuff in there to be honest and the weight of it is too heavy, but I don't know, I was expecting it to be a little bit more smoother in terms of experience when I'm pulling in and out the drawers. I think I definitely wanna upgrade this at some point. But anyway, besides the point, here I put all of my belts at the very top because it's easy for me to just like grab and not have to open this if I don't want to. The second smaller shelf here, I put all of my bras, my underwear, all that good stuff. In the third drawer, I have all of my simple tees, tanks, and tiny tops. These are all of my t-shirts, and oh, also I have all of my bodysuits back here. They're my basics, and I use them to layer under outfits a lot. On the bottom here, I have a lot less of these, but they're long sleeve that are for layering as well. I have a couple of knit ones too. Here I have all of my socks, which I also need to go through because no one needs <laughs> this many pairs of socks. On the very bottom shelf here, I have my hats, bucket hats, tote bags, things like that. Above that, we have all of Charlie's clothes in this corner. And then here I have all of my lightweight jackets, athletic jackets as well. And then leather jackets, blazers, I have a lot of blazers, oh my gosh. <laughs> and then as you go left, I have all of my blouses, button down shirts, more fancier tops. And then my dresses are right here, as you can see. After my dresses, I have my shorter coats and then longer coats in this corner of the closet. Now let's look at this lower half. I decided to put all of my shorts and skirts here on hangers because I feel like it's the easiest for me to visually see everything and it makes getting dressed in the morning super easy and efficient. So I have all of them color coded as well. I categorize them. So here in this first section, I have all denim shorts. Here I have all of my linen shorts. And then I think we go to tailored shorts here that have this like crepe material. I also have my leather shorts at the very end here. And then it does the same thing, but with skirts. So I have my denim skirts here, my silk and linen skirts in this section right here. These are all of my shorter skirts. And then I have my longer skirts to the right of them. So basically the same pattern and system. To the right here, I have all of my jeans. Oh my gosh. I have so many pairs of pants. It's kind of, I have a lot of everything, I know, I know. I really should declutter some of these jeans, but I do feel that I wear them very often because I love my jeans and tailored pants. Those are my go-tos when I don't know what to wear. But anyway, I organize them by color, by fabric, also by the style of pant as well. At the very end, I have a couple of leggings and athletic cargo pants, stuff like that. That is basically everything. I am super happy where this is at. 
trust me i decluttered a ton of stuff even if it looks crammed in here let me actually show you guys what i am going to be trying to at least putting on poshmark but there's a lot so i have to sift through these and decide whether or not if I want to sell, donate, or give away. But yeah, let me show you that pile because it is gnarly. This is our current state of our guest bedroom. This is the temporary space that I'm using to store all of my clothing items that I need to either sell, donate, or give away to friends and family. But oh my gosh, I have so much stuff, like ranging from basics to sweatshirts, sweatpants, jackets, handbags. I have shoes down there. Oh my goodness. So I have a, a lot of work cut out for me for the next couple of days. And they're like really good stuff. Like these are soft stream sweatpant, short sweatshirt duo. I have a couple of funnel neck sweatshirts from Lululemon. Aritzia activewear sets, like there are good stuff. I just don't have space to keep all of these, obviously, as you saw, and they can go to a better home and get used because I just don't reach for them as often as I should. Anyway, so yeah, if you're interested, definitely go ahead and check out my Poshmark and shop my closet. Okay, that is everything. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and sticking around for my closet tour. I hope you enjoyed it and got some inspiration on how to organize your closet. If you have any questions about anything in particular, definitely let me know. If you want to see a short snippet of how I declutter my clothes, definitely go ahead and check out this video here. In this vlog, I go through like a small portion of my closet and show you how I declutter. Please like if you haven't already, subscribe if you want to stick around, and I will talk to you guys in the comments. Bye.